This video on EasyLobby SVM 10.5 demonstrates how to assign a mobile access credential to a visitor. Firstly, EasyLobby has to be configured to enable mobile access functionality and to connect to the customer's mobile access account. From the Edit menu option, select Program Options and then the Mobile Access tab. Check the Enable Mobile Access checkbox and then enter the customer's mobile access organization ID, user ID and password. It is important to note that the customer's mobile access account must have API access enabled. This gives access within the Arigo Mobile Identities Portal to system accounts in the administration dashboard. The values used for organization ID, user ID and password should be taken from one of these system accounts. Select Reload and the EasyLobby Mobile Access Integration will pull information about part numbers into EasyLobby. A part number can then be chosen from which to allocate credentials to visitors. Select OK and the mobile access configuration is now complete. Now let's create a new visitor. In the Contact tab we must enter a valid email address. And in the Mobile Access tab we can send the invitation to that address. On the visitor's mobile phone, the invitation is received from the cloud service. The visitor can scroll down to find links to the HID Mobile Access app if they do not already have it, from the App Store for iOS and from Google Play for Android. The email contains instructions for entering the invitation code generated by the cloud service. This is the same invitation code that was displayed in EasyLobby when creating the visitor. The email also contains a quick start guide to using the mobile access app. If the visitor already has the mobile access app installed on their device, they only need to tap the invitation code link in the email to accept the credential. The mobile access integration is aware that the credential has been accepted and also has identification details of the visitor's device. The next step is to check in the visitor. This populates the badge or prox card field with the credential information. This makes the credential available for use with the physical access control system. At the end of the visit, the visitor is checked out. This action deletes the credential from the visitor's device. On the Mobile Access tab, we can see the credential and device information has been cleared. A visitor can be pre-registered by authorized employees using the eAdvance web application. Once details have been entered, they can be submitted using the Submit button or by using the Submit with Mobile Access button if the visitor is to receive mobile access credentials. This reduces the front desk staff's workload even further as the visitor's details have already been entered into the system and the decision made to issue mobile access credentials. When the visitor arrives, their details can be found they can be checked in and issued with a mobile access credential in a few seconds.